What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and today we are starting up the PS4 Black Desert uh, playthrough. It's bright and early here for the East Coast. I'm up at 3 a.m. to play this. All worth it though, got the name I wanted here on PlayStation. So let's hop into this. Uh, this will be structured a lot like my Sorcerers on Xbox. We'll make sure and try to get a boss maybe two per episode we'll keep the the story and stuff like that to a minimum on this character we'll have a character maybe another character later on that goes delves more into the story but this is just about progressing and leveling and uh we'll uh we'll see how this goes so gotta start off with the black spirit you seem better are you okay I'm starting to wonder whether I'd chosen the right host. What's with the, that look? Don't tell me you don't remember me. You promised you would. Well, that won't be that much of a problem anyways. Your memories will return soon enough. Hee hee hee. There's someone waiting for you over there. I'm going to hide now. Go and talk to that person. Don't worry. You're the only one who can see me. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk to Eden. We're going to get a cutscene here. Are you really an expert? You don't look like one at all. Well, I've investigated ruins across the continent. I study ancient artifacts. Everybody says they're experts. What could you possibly do by yourself? Huh. I didn't come here alone. I'm with an ancient job. language what? expert you and some quality off. excavators. Oh. Hmm. You stand before Princess Jurette. You must mind your... I'm sorry, adventurer, but I can't really trust you with a job this important. Return where you came from. Hmm. No, thank you. Look, I discovered this gemstone in the Valencia ruins. It was verified as authentic by the Imperial Court. My goodness, isn't this a gem of balance? They say it concealed the dark power. I never thought I would see one in my lifetime. Hmm? So is this something that Sir Jordan is looking for? Fine. You are in charge of the Stone Chamber investigation now. A fortnight. That's how long I'm giving you to figure it out. Huh. It'll be much sooner than that. I wonder what exciting discoveries... Okay, so, whoa, I heard the rumors, but this princess is impossible to please. Oh, are you feeling fine now? I see you're finally awake. I am Eden the Explorer. Explorer. I found you out cold over there and brought you here. What's that? How do I know who, who you are? Well, this is awkward. A traveler who does not remember anything. You look lost and confused. You're in Belenos, near the ancient stone ruins, to be precise. I don't know what happened, but you're safe here. I thought you were an adventurer or mercenary. I knew you weren't a farmer because you weren't dressed like one. I would like to help you recover your memories, but I'm swamped with work at the evacuation site. I'll be on my way. Hmm. The stone chamber, you seem quite interested in it. Why don't you examine the ancient artifacts that were discovered over there? So, I will get the audio and all of that stuff figured out here very soon. Um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut here after we do this little part, and then I'll be back with the first little fights. Uh, and hopefully the audio will be good to go. This is supposed to be a hard heart, the, the heart of ancient giants that beat continuously. You want to know about his heart of an ancient... I'm just going to read this regularly. Giant, <laughs> it's too early to read it with their stutter. I don't know since when it started acting like this. The only thing I know for certain is that the heart is emitting great power. I'm scared. Why is the heart doing this? The rest of the giant's body is in pieces, so why? Do you think it's a bad idea to try to wake up the giant? Eventually someone else might be tempted. I am scared of the ancient weapons that lie around the heart, too. I have nightmares of them coming to life at night and staring, just staring at me. I sometimes feel as if the world is full of secrets, covered up by a dense fog. I will try to include every cutscene that is in the game i'll try to include all of that uh, hmm you must be looking for eden i thought you said you were going to the stone chamber what are you waiting for if you're with eden get moving and help with the evacuation we were the ones who discovered that what you just saw i'm sure jordine will be satisfied with our work hmm seems like you're not interested in evacuation work or excavation work if so can you go find out more about the gray foxes and tell the soldiers in the front 
of the stone chamber. They keep stealing the belonging of our workers. Such a nuisance. Where is the stone chamber? Why did Eden even send someone like this? Just walk straight down this road and you'll see the ancient stone chamber. I don't really think that's right. The stone chamber is right here. If you walk straight down, you're not going to see it. But let me uh, let me adjust the audio real quick and we will go kill those gray foxes. Alrighty guys, we are back and we need to kill ourselves some gray foxes. Audio should be good. Ooh, that was really quick to gain that knowledge. Alright, so let's pop out the black spirit. Hee hee hee, now we know about the gray foxes. We can see how much health they have left. He, it'll be easier for you to defeat them now. Don't you want to move, have more fun before heading to the stone chamber? Okay, so let's go ahead and defeat some more gray foxes here. I like that attack. It's, uh, it's just B. I mean, there's not much to... Ooh. It's been a while. It's been since the Xbox beta since I played Ranger. But this, like, takes me back to my MMO kind of roots of playing a female archer. I, I need to get her to, like... Um, let's see here. Like, 12... 30s so I can really start unlocking skills because I mean these skills aren't bad right now but obviously we got it we we gotta get better skills going here definitely gotta go get better skills so we're gonna get cutscene 2 here game actually starts off with a fair little chunk of cutscenes uh thank you for taking care of the troublesome foxes who kept stealing the workers belongings but who are you again are you one of Jurette's mercenaries Explorers, ah, you mean Eden and those people he brought. You'll find them inside the cave. The cave is right here. Don't understand why they're so dedicated. From my understanding, that profession does not pay well. Alright, so down we go. I want to get into, I know this is awful, but I want to get to the pearl shop just so I can see what, uh, what outfit I can get for this ranger. Because at this point, the ranger is the main on PlayStation. And so, de definitely because I got the name that I wanted. So, we, uh, we're definitely in a... We're definitely committed to using the Ranger. I mean, it's, it's, it's dumb, but it's like something I factor in. It's like, oh, did I get the name I wanted? It's like these initial six, it's hard to beat them. Like on Xbox, the Sorceress, I got Yennefer. Spelled wrong, albeit, but it was, it was close enough. Uh, the beginning and the end is the same. I don't understand the statement. Hmm? Wait, maybe. Hello, Siri. What brings you here? Seems like you're fully recovered now. Did Princess Jurette send you here? Well, I had no idea it was this urgent. Did the Grand Chamberlain Jordine say that? Hmm. I understand. We'll do our best to pick things up. I think you should leave now. Excavations are always dangerous. Wait, are you already planning to go back? We're not done here yet. Let's take a better look at this mysterious ruins. Do you feel that? The artifact... Is trying to pull us closer. It feels like it's from ancient times, but somehow feels very familiar. Okay, so cutscene number two. Maybe. There we go. Cutscene number two. Aiden, look at this. Huh? There's something wrong with the artifact. Is it because of this traveler here? You are infected, possessed with dark energy. But it's not awakened yet. Ah. So, tell us anything you might know about the black energy. You must rid yourself of all those visions. Aiden, stop. He seems unstable.
All right, talk to Eden real quick. Are you feeling better now? Thank goodness. I was worried that I might have been too late. It looks like the Black Spirit has found a new companion. Have you experienced any hallucinations lately? According to the event excavation team, there is a high possibility that these artifacts contain black energy. I heard that even the chief of the imps, Red Nose, stole one of the artifacts from this place before. It's true that those with the Black Spirit gain immense strength and an extraordinary sense of awareness, but unfortunately, most of them succumb to the darkness and lose their sanity. I am certain that Red Nose has changed both physically and mentally. This will be this will also be your fate if you choose to continue your journey with the Black Spirit. That is why you must train yourself not to be completely consumed by the Black Spirit. If you head south from the Stone Chamber, you'll come across the Western Guard Camp. You can find the cap. You can find Captain Cliff there. Oh, and on your way, why don't you try defeating the Gray Wolves and Tree Spirits? They are one of the Western Guard Camp's many problems. If you do, you might be able to accompany the captain to see Red Nose. Remember, my friend, my name is Eden. Okay, so. Here's how this series is going to go here on my channel. It will not be so heavy dialogue. I'm just doing a lot of the reading here at the very beginning. But uh, in future episodes, I will probably cut out a lot of the dialogue and um, a lot of that. We'll just do a lot of the fighting and a lot of that. I'll try to include some some of the major plot points. But there, there's not a whole lot of like massively important plot points. I mean, it's an MMO with a with a mediocre story, but it's not like a it's not like a Final Fantasy type story. It's still it, it's it's a story, but we can't we won't even have all of it yet. So I feel like once we get the whole story, I could always do like a full story kind of dealio. That attack is really weird. I don't know if I like that attack. It's really weird. It like. If you don't keep tapping square or any button, I guess any button works, but if you don't keep tapping that button, it doesn't it doesn't fire all the shots off. This is really I got I gotta get some more skills, because these skills I have now are kinda dicey. It let me up. I don't really have a problem with the skills, but they are not the greatest. They're just kind of weird. They're kind of wonky skills. Like this one. I this skill this skill annoys me because I have to make sure I tap the button enough. I mean, I guess I'll get used to it, but that's... Usually most skills just fire off. You don't have to... Have to be, like, super on top of it. Are you gonna... Hello? Shoot? Thank you. It doesn't seem like it has that long of a cooldown. It looks like it's a one second cool or like a two second cooldown. Actually, no, there's no cooldown on it. So that's interesting. Really interesting. Okay, the right trigger dagger is still not. It's still pretty good. That right trigger dagger at the beginning of the game here, I remember it being really good, and it is still pretty darn good. But most of the time, I'm not going to read this stuff. Like, I'll show it here, because he's just talking about Eden and Red Nose. I'll just skip through the dialogue, just to save us all time as we try to progress our characters into the game. Because a lot of the dialogue is just basic stuff that, if you just play the game, you kind of know. Like, right there, you kind of knew he was going to talk about Eden and Red Nose, since Eden told us to get rid of him, and Red Nose is... Red Nose... So, this is one of the quests that you really never have to do again in the game. After you do it once and you get the knowledge here, it won't require you to do it again for the rest of the game because you already have the knowledge on your PS4 character account, which is really, really something nice. Um, there's only a couple of quests in the game that it that it works for, but it's it's nice. I will say that. It's a pretty nice... I don't know, gift, I guess, because they could just make you kill everything here like they do for, like, everything else. But I kind of wish they would just do away with the uh, tutorial area if you figured it out. I know it has, like, story plot elements and all of that different stuff, but I think they, I think they could uh, change up the tutorial area in the start here just because... It's 
I don't know. I don't think... After you play this, like, once, you're pretty much good to go forever. Kill both of these guys at once. See, the dagger is just so good off the start here. It's so much better than your bow. Like, a crazy amount better than your bow. I have to fire off all my... I'm going to mess that up so many times here at the beginning as I get used to it. There we go. Cleared that up. Doesn't take too many kills. You can see that the, the immature one was really quick, but... That one wasn't too bad. It's, it's only like six kills or something like that. It's like really quick that it's like to the point where who cares if they make you do it. But you don't have to do it really after you complete this once. Do you really clear off the tree spirits? I wanted to meet you in person, but not in this situation. Uh, we're surrounded by hundreds, or we're surrounded by, where did I see hundreds? We're surrounded by imps and tree spirits. I tried to hurry, but it seems we're late. The wagon is completely broken. Phew, I'm out here all alone. My name is Finia or Fenia of Western Guard Camp. Could you please help me? Please find the wagons, drivers, silvers, and belongings from the imps. Okay, so this is one of the better, like, you can get some decent experience here to start the game. The spawns are really thick, and if you come out here, mob density is kind of crazy out here, but if you come all the way out, if you don't do the one right next to her, you will get, um, usually you'll get this almost to yourself, because I deal no damage. I say this, but I don't deal a whole lot of damage. There we go. Okay, that's not bad for hitting multiple people. It's kind of weak single target DPS, but that's not bad over a group. It's kind of weak still, but it does enough. It's kind of weird, because we're going to have to do this a little bit differently, because I can't central market and buy good gear right off the bat. So we're going to have to gear this thing the old-fashioned way until stuff gets up on the auction. I haven't got any... Okay. Okay, you have to fire these off with right bumper. Interesting. Eh, circle's not... The kick is at... Her kick is actually kind of good. Okay, so that's back. That's not... That's not terrible. You can see, though, there's, like, no... Everybody clusters up there at the at the top of the hill and fights everything. No one ever comes down, like, over here. I don't really get it. There's more enemies over here because no one's over here. And there's more of them just in general, I think. Okay, that attack's not bad. I don't like that it takes you out of the fight. Okay, we're gonna have to kill more of these guys anyway, so let me go turn this quest in, because I'm gonna have to come back here anyway and kill some more, I believe, so just turn the quest in. Every quest I turn in, for the most part, I'll do most of the reading, but I'm not gonna obviously, if I'm skipping ahead of stuff, I'm not gonna come back, I'm not gonna, like, check in to read a dialogue to you. Thank you so much, I think this is everything. The wagon is broken, but we were able to get everything back. Ah, you're looking for Captain Cliff. He's looking for skilled mercenaries. Hmm? If you really want to work for him, why don't you help drive out the imps? While you're taking care of the imps, I'll head to the Western Guard Camp with the wagon driver and let Captain Cliff know. Okay, so here's the imp subjugation. Looks like we did get... We got a helmet, so we're going to get three defense off of that. New dagger gives us two e or one extra damage. It gives us two damage instead of one. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting, just from a, just from the standpoint that we do not do, like, any damage. This is kinda, I'm actually mind blown, because I feel like the other characters I played, we did more damage. Like, this damage is some cheeks. Kill these guys. Like, look at, oh man. That's that even that skill. Still not exactly what I would like from my one of my more powerful skills. 
But I'm sure we'll get better stuff, better gear, better all of that. But I'll see you guys in a moment. I'll get through this little tutorial, and uh, it's going to have us kill some steel imps. So I will get to that point, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Did you trust me? You told me there is another imp leader. T -t Tiny Nose told me. Where is he? Uh, a cave. The imp cave. Search party. On standby. So, northeast. You there, go with him. Yes, sir. <sighs> Two imp leaders. This won't be easy. I'm Cliff, captain of the West. Okay, so dialogue or er, dialogue. Cutscene number three out of the way. So now I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, we are back, and we picked ourselves up a new weapon, courtesy of our friend here. A little soldier guarding the uh, the entrance, so let's pop that on. We also picked up a briar armor, so that's cool as well. Also got our first rewards for daily login. Doesn't look like there's any event rewards right now. They had been on Xbox when they released new characters, doing certain event-related stuff for extra goodies and rewards for hitting certain level milestones, but I guess they will not be doing that for starting the game. But I'm sure once we get to new characters dropping and all of that different stuff, we will have all those same events that Xbox did. And once again, if you come up the hill here, you have another spot where people just don't go. We'll take a look here at the end of the video at any potential skills that we picked up along the way here in our first little playthrough. Already level 11, which is nice. Progression through this game should be fairly quick. Not like overly quick, but fairly quick would be my guess. Since I've ran this game way too many times at this point between Xbox. Because I've gotten, on Xbox, I've gotten three characters to 56 plus. I have a Dark Knight at 51. I have a Striker at 50. And then I have a couple other characters like a Musa at 30 something, a Lon at 30 something, a Witch at 50 something. It's just, I have a lot of characters on Xbox. So I pretty much know the most efficient way to go through this, not that the most optimal efficient, but I know pretty efficient ways to get through this game. So I think we're going to turn this in and it's going to have us kill some more imps. Uh, okay. That's one thing is that if you, uh, you're going to get interrupted if you do not hurry up with uh, accepting stuff from the Black Spirit. So Imp Stronghold is next. Okay, so we need to go talk to Tiny Nose at Imp Cave, or at the Imp Cave. So once again, I will see you guys in a moment once we have talked to him. Then we're going to get some fighting quests on a hill, which are actually pretty decent quests. And so I will see you guys in just half a second. All right, so I went ahead and killed some of the enemies. It's a little bit tougher than I thought it would be, just simply because everybody else is fighting here for kills. So some of the kills you're not getting uh, when you go to attack. So we did end up getting some binder earrings here, which increases our accuracy. Nice. Um, nothing else of note that we acquired so far. We did get that uh, value pack, but... That's just a one-day value pack that I'm not going to quite redeem yet. Alright, so we have 15 more enemies to kill, and then it's going to give us another kill quest right afterwards. But I found that this spot over here, you do have to wait a little bit on respawn timers, but overall, over here is really nice. Because it just seems like there's not a whole lot of competition for kills. Especially early here where I have better spots where I like a lot more, but they're going to be highly contested right now because they're all pretty good for killing really quick. So I think we're relegated to this spot over here. After we kill these 50 enemies, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my skills and see if there's anything that I want there. 
see if there's even any options for skills. I thought I was about to get a jump skill there. I thought I had a jump skill there. But nope, just just a jump. No skill there yet. And that the dagger is so basic. There's nothing <laughs> I wish there was like a skill with it. That skill's getting a little bit better. Still not good, but it's getting it's getting there. It's working towards being useful. Not what I wanted to do. I wish you could almost deselect skills. I know that sounds weird, but I kind of wish you could deactivate a skill and not be able to use it with the correct button combination. So let's go ahead and grab that. We'll get the Black Spirit Gift. And now our second kill quest for this area. We need to kill... Or we need to get two wizard staffs. We need to defeat 15 steel imps and 10 steel imp warriors. So let's take a look at our skills real quick. We have the bow skill, which is the basic... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Learnable. We got dagger protection here, which is just the basic dagger. We have the flow. We have breath of air. So L2, R2 after a basic attack. We have... Which is pinpoint? Do I even use pinpoint? Um, let's see, where is pinpoint? There it is, pinpoint. So that's back R1. Is that the back? Back R1. Okay, I don't think I've been using that. We have pinpoint two. I don't use the kick. This is after charging wind. Okay, do I have enough to pick all these up? I think I do. Let's so pick that up, pick that up, and pick that up. Nice. Okay. So we did pick up some new skills there, which should help combos flow a little bit better. That dude has, like, a mob of enemies. So I'm gonna come over here, see if I can... Actually, this looks, like, decent. Man, that just doesn't do the attack that I think it should. There we go. There was a, there was a little bit of a, a skill there. I think, what is that? Is that back? Is it back R1? Okay, it's... Okay. So, you do the back here, and then you hit... When you're doing your flip backwards, you do right... Or you do R1, and that'll do that skill. Nice. Okay. Got ourselves a skill, finally. I think we had that the whole time, because I did it before, but... I hadn't been using it. There we go. Okay, this is feeling a little bit better now. Not gonna lie. That helped a lot figuring out... Getting those flow skills and just figuring out how to fully do that one skill. Because that skill is actually high damage and the reach and the cooldown on it is not very high. So we need to get one more staff. I'm in with the with all of the people now. Give me that staff off this wizard. That's like the hardest part because the wizards are a little bit more scarce. There we go is the steel imps. And it's, you know, RNG based, so I like to get that out of the way quickly. It's like we're gonna hit level 14 today, or today. Level 14 here. It's too early in the morning. Gosh. Can't talk. There's the staff. So I need three more Steel Imp Warriors. So I'm just gonna look for the yellow markers on my map and go clean these guys up. Yeah, that dude didn't steal my kill. There's one. There's two. And here's three. Right behind me. Am I just going to cheese with that attack? That attack by far does the most damage. Um, let me try to find somewhere safe to talk Black Spirit. Come back out here to the road. That. And Red Nose Secret Time. So I think it's actually Red Nose Boss Fight Time, which is really nice. Be able to do this all in one episode. 
this. Grab the boss red nose quest, and here we go. So we need to use the imp cap the e the imp captain summon scroll to defeat red nose now. So this is the first boss of the game. Might actually be a little bit challenging on the ranger. Not gonna lie. So, cause. I mean, it's not a difficult fight, but I don't do a whole lot of damage. And really, the best way is you just DPS the poor guy down in five seconds and, and call it a day. Really is that simple with Red Nose. You just kind of DPS him and you say goodnight. But I don't have that high a DPS at this point. And honestly, I don't really love the Ranger's bow. The Archer is clear. I mean, I can't pick the Archer, but the Archer is clearly better if you want a bow and arrow character. I want the Awakened weapon for the Ranger. Okay, here we go. I'm so used to having knowledge on Red Nose here that I'm not. I'm not used to not used to just straight up uh, not fighting him without the knowledge of how much health he has. Oh no, I actually do have enough knowledge on him. Nice. Okay. Yeah, this, this damage is what we call lackluster. Killing the imps more than I'm dealing damage to him with that attack. Come here, Red Nose. Just trying to keep my distance here. I don't have the greatest skills. So I'm trying to just keep my distance. Not get caught. Might as well pick up some free experience by doing this attack and hitting some of the uh, hitting some of the imps that are here with the AOE. Do I have any other skills other than this skill? I think I do. I mean, we have that skill, but it's really not conducive to killing red. Okay, get in there. Try to dagger him down real quick. Back it up. Get back in there. Dagger. Can't tell. Is that mine? Couldn't tell if that was mine that was showing that. Because he didn't do an attack when he got up. If I was getting the, uh, the red circle to dodge from another person's fight. It's kind of weird. Okay. Oh my gosh, he missed. Oh, I got so lucky he missed. I think I just dagger him down here. There we go. Smoked. Good old, look at all of the stupid red noses here. Oh my gosh. So very many red noses. Okay, let me get out of the pack of our giant red noses. Call in the black spirit. And we should. We're going to get what's his head. Ooh, Elsh weapon. Nice. So we got a new weapon. Perfect. Grab that. Got the inventory expansion, and we got uh, these dudes that show up way late. And Cliff is gonna take uh, try to take credit. Uh, it's you. I just rather surprised to hear Uno say that you just took off. You and I are the same. We value actions over words. Immediately after your departure, I assembled a force to break through the Steel Ems to rendezvous with you here. You really are quite extraordinary to defeat this, that scoundrel Red Nose so quickly. History has been written today, my friend. Our names will sure go down in history. Uno told me about you. He said you have some kind of illness. I know someone who may be able to help you. He's a famous alchemist. You should go introduce yourself to him. I will return to the camp, drive out the rest of the imps, and prepare to fall back. If only the Lord recommended someone like you sooner. Ah, please disregard what I said. It's not important. Take care. Okay, so in between episodes here, I'm going to go back to the guard camp and turn in the quest for the lost helmet. We also got this Elsh weapon, which uh, increases our AP up to 14, along with these two inventory expansion slots. People have already bought... Is that a bought cosmetic? Because that looks... That's a really... Oh, no, that's not a really... I know what cosmetic that is. Pearl Shop open? Okay. Let's take a look and see what outfits we got off the bat here. Before we call it... Yeah, just the basic ones. I don't even know if I'm going to buy an outfit here off the start. I might chill until they release an outfit that I really want. There is a Ranger outfit on Xbox that I love. I don't think we're going to get that on PlayStation for a while, so I'm not too concerned with buying an outfit now. 
and then waiting. I'll probably go ahead and pick up the penguin, the pug, the, the penguin, the pug, and the cat, or the penguin, the pug, and the wolf. I don't like how this, this looks. I don't like how the wolf dog looks. This cat I like as well, so kind of just depends. I will, I'll figure it out, and I'll, I'll pick, uh, but we, we don't even have access to our stuff for showing up to the game. Um, actually, we do have the ultimate pre-order bonus, so maybe I'll grab that in the next episode, and we can do a little bit of shopping, um, before we, uh, we get to the boss in the next episode. So, yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop this first video a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and, uh, check back later today. I'll have the first episode of my leveling guide for PS4, and then check back every day. Should have a video out on this character every single day until completion, until we get to what we can complete before they release more content into the game. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you later. Peace!